Hello, fellow truth seekers. <laughs> so, you know, one of my um, initial thoughts on name for this Tarot channel was Crazy Cat Lady Tarot. <laughs> I decided against it. At any rate, hello, fellow truth seekers. I'm back. I'm back in the beginning of your videos, and I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes. If you're really not interested, you will find a timestamp below, get to your video, but I do recommend staying. It's going to be very quick. I'm going to try and keep it under five minutes. And I'm not, you know, I was going to try and explain why, but it was making it too lengthy. And, you know, I'm just doing it because I want to. Yeah. Okay. So, new moon in Virgo starting out this time period and this is a time to make intention new intentions right make what you want but we want to make sure it's something you know i feel like the key to you know making this intention really work is making it something that you can put in the work along the way right you can take physical steps towards making it happen um because this New moon in Virgo is at 25 degrees of Virgo. This is the sun, the moon at 25 degrees. It is trining uh, Saturn in 20, at 25 degrees. And so we're working with Saturn. Saturn is often the person who's working against us. We're working with them this time. But as you know, Saturn rewards work, right? Um, there's no getting past it. It's also trining, though not exact, uh, Pluto. So this is kind of like transforma transforming this situation. And, uh, you know, 25 degrees breaks down to a seven. That is the chariot. So this is something, you know, I feel that we've been working on for a long time, right? This is the, we've been working on manifesting this probably all year because that is, you know, that ca it's in Capricorn and these, uh, planets have been kind of like going back and forth through through this area all year. You know, this is something that you've worried about, you've toiled over, you've, you know, you've been trying to find the right ingredients, right? You've been um, trying to find the right path, you know, all the things that the chariot represents. Well, it's really starting to come together for us. I think we're starting to get that momentum. We found that right path. And, you know, Mars is still in retrograde, so I don't think we're going to be getting a whole lot of traction just yet. But I think that we are going to feel that knowledge, right? That, uh, and it, we're going to be getting little victories, I think. Little nuggets that are showing us we're in the right direction. Very tangible nuggets that we're moving in the right direction. Uh, and for those things that we don't see just yet... This is happening on the 17th, right? The star card. We also have with this new moon uh, at 17 degrees of Libra, Mercury squaring at 17 degrees of Capricorn, Jupiter, which is in that little bunch, and it just turned direct. So I feel like what this is saying is pay attention to the triggers, right? Watch out for the triggers. But pay attention to them. There's something to learn from them, right? Really, really look at them and see what you can learn from them. Uh, and that justice, I feel like justice isn't necessarily, we're not going to see it, right? But it's coming. And, but it might not be just as we expect it. That makes sense. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, I'm not sure. I think that's about it. Yeah, just uh, make your intention, make it about this project, right? This is whatever it is. And if you haven't had something that you're working on, you know, what do you want to work on, right? And start. Think about what you want it to turn into, right? This is long term. And put forth the effort. All right. Much love.
Let's see what the cards say. Hello, my gorgeous Leos. So, Leo, we've been having kind of uh, the same conversation, right? <laughs> Basically, I feel like we've kind of, we've got somewhere uh, this past time. But um, so I did a little visioning this time, and um, what I got was actually a lion, and he was sitting there and he was licking his paw, right? And I immediately thought it didn't show me a mouse, but I thought of the mouse, right, and the getting the thorn out of his paw. You know, this very small wound, right? These small wounds that we sometimes get. And it's so small wounds that cause us the most pain, right? They're in the right spot, right? Like on a lion's paw. And I also thought about my nephew. Um, he's actually a Libra, but he was talking about to me one day about um, his girlfriend and him and how they get in these arguments and you know like these hurts and he was talking about how he doesn't understand he's a Libra right and she's a Pisces <laughs> and he doesn't understand why um, you know we had he's using his arm as an example like he's there's this wound right and you have to caress the wound <laughs> and he doesn't you know like you have to like talk about it and talk about it and and you know open it back up and let it bleed some more right and I've, I'm getting this feeling like that's how you all are feeling and some of y'all might even be feeling that way about these readings here lately right like you know what it is that I'm talking about, you know, or what spirit's talking about. And it's not really, so, you know, you don't feel like it's that big a deal, you know, and you're, you're wondering why we're, we're, uh, and they spit out, listen, they're saying, listen, listen to this, Leo. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Why do we have, why, why is it harp, harping on this? Why is this such a big deal? So I feel like we're going to get some answers about that today. So we'll see what comes out here. Ooh, Abracadabra, Night Ride, this is, and Eva, there's that wound in the subconscious. We have to the moon and back at the bottom. All right, let me place these. I think they're probably in a pretty good spot. Just want to make sure. I'm sorry for any of the noises that you hear. I've got my window open and the noises of the uh, neighborhood tend to come in. Sound like it's right in the room. <clears throat> So, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Leo. Remember that we all have masculine and feminine energies. It can be either side of this story. Please remember, if this does resonate with you, to like, subscribe, comment, share. I'm trying to remember to say that at the beginning. Uh, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. And of course, this might not be for you, right? Don't try and force it to fit if it doesn't resonate. Yeah, so there we go. Ace of Gardens and Seven of Fire. There's that defensiveness, but also this new beginning, right? Okay, now I am using some new decks today. This is in celebration of the autumn slash spring equinox. Beautiful that we have the world right there. Yeah, look at that. In your subconscious, there's still like 
this, you know, this is nine of winds, which would be the nine of uh, swords. There's still something going on. Yeah, eight of winds. Right here in your, in the um, air element. King of fire in the fire element. Okay. Death. The moon. Still this unknown. Five of winds. In the past and in the future. Jester of winds. This is really nice. This is like a new beginning, a new way of thinking, of looking at things, right? With optimism. And we have fortune, the wheel of fortune, at the bottom of the deck. Very good, very good. Okay, now, going to go ahead and get a chakra in the artist card here. Give an overview, a general energy for the reading and incorporate it. All right, for Leo, please. Determination. Yeah, I felt some anxiety anxiety when I was going uh as soon as I started going into the chakras this, you know, that kind of like turning in your stomach. I felt that kind of anxiety. We've got play, the heart chakra at the bottom of the deck. Interesting that it's fishes, water in both of these. And we, yeah, we have a little bit of water here with the moon. Let's see here. Okay, we've got all of the elements represented, so that's good. I like that abracadabra being there and that four of gardens, there's a, a sense of stability there. And a sense of, the, you know, with the world up here. You know, this is about integration, definitely, here. Okay. As always, this artist has something to teach you outside of this reading as well. Beautiful. We've got Ludwig van Beethoven. A wrong note is insignificant. Playing without passion is inexcusable. Listen. Listen again, huh? Destiny is knocking at your door. Conduct a symphony in silence. Make sure that he's in here. She usually ends up coming down along the way. But we'll s I'll try to remember to check it again. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, we have Bjork at the bottom. I love that, especially with this to the moon and back. All right, we have all these feathers. It's like, um, you're getting ready to take flight. Which we even see with this nine of winds here. All right. So, apologize that things probably look a little bit different. The camera turned over. So, yeah, we're starting over again. <laughs> So, this is a really interesting uh, spread. I see a lot of elements of you kind of coming into your own, right? It's like, I'm drawn to this king of fire here, and, we'll, um, and the world and the four of gardens, right? There's like this... You know, this sense of control of, of um, you know, and it, like here we kind of have this sleight of hand and it's like he's covered up on this side and open on this side and it's like, um, you know, um, 
a matador with the bull and over here you're you're making magic right and you've got this like mask on and then here this has a puppet right that looks like him and i feel like it's like you know and i definitely get a feeling that this is meant for those going through um kundalini awakening even just a, a, a spiritual awakening um and just that especially with the kundalini awakening though because i mean you you just can't go around telling everybody oh yeah you know i've got you know we see the snake here and this snake is coming out of the mouth of this death card right and i definitely see this as being um you know talking about that speaking of something right there's feel like spirit is trying to talk to you. I know I'm all over the place. I'm going to bring it all together. Um, <clears throat> and this, you know, that's around the, this, um, like, this is like, you know, this kind of cosmic egg, right? This, this transformation. And I do, this is in the earth position. So I feel like this is very literally the transformation that you're going through, right? The bodily changes, the mind changes, right? It's like, just mind-boggling and this is the hanged man the hanged man has you know which, which is the card preceding death is wrapped around it right there's still this this feeling of you know you've been feeling stuck you're still feeling a bit stuck right but you're kind of wrapping yourself around this idea of this transformation right which is bringing this abracadabra this four of gardens right you're starting to you've had the kind of it's clicked i feel um there's still this this wounding right see we see somebody who's been wounded here right there's been this this conflict this wound in the past And this could very well, you know, this is like, I feel like, you know, this is spirit. You you feel like spirit has wounded you, right? Now, you feel, I, I'm getting the sense like you feel like your your friends are looking at you differently, right? It's like, you feel like you're going against the grain now, right? You're a fish swimming upstream, fighting against the current, and you're dissatisfied with that or you have been i feel like you know you're you're coming around here at this point in time and spirits you know <clears throat> telling you there's there's this need to change the way that you're seeing things right we have this eight of winds here she's looking at the door which has a key in it right the key is there and spirits up here saying you know you're free to go all you have to do is is change the way you're seeing this and i think you are coming around uh with this eight of winds here you know and the nine of winds with eva here in the bottom it's like she these snakes are wrapped around her i feel like it there's still this um you're not sure how to view this transformation right it's like on one hand we have this mushroom here which is about growth on the other we have these tentacles and this particular card is about things being deceiving right but, you know She's presenting herself as this beautiful thing, but is she really? Yeah. And, you know, there's this thing about sexuality here, too, right? This figure in the Nine of Winds here has herself covered up. All right, and that's, that's also the base chakra. which has to do, you know, that's where the kundalini arises. So I feel like there's that sense there, right? And she's looking right at Eva here. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, 
in these cards, we see, you know, we see transformation here. The snakes are transformation. We see all this growth happening. We see this tree behind this. We see this tree, like, once again, it's like this in this circle, right in the center of it all, right? There is this these clues that there is solid ground here. There is growth here. You're just not seeing it, right? And in your subconscious, you're really, conflicted still about it. But we do see things kind of changing here, right? And I feel like this is, uh, this is in your emotions, but we do have this new moon in Virgo with all these trees showing up here, right? This this four of gardens, which I'm so happy this is showing up here in this center position. Um, because I feel like, you know, this is your emotions. This is your relationships, right? There's still a lot of unknown and the spirit is asking you to surrender here. There, you're also very intuitive, right? There's a lot to learn from the emotions here. You know, it's like, there. it's grounded here. There's rock. See, I mean, like we keep on getting this groundedness, even in, you know, something like water. <clears throat> And then, you know, because we have these rocks here that are like, um, have this gravitational pull, and then the ones that are rising are the black ones, right? These are the ones that are kind of, you know, still unknown, this, um, still floating around out there. And there's this sense that sitting underneath this particular king of fire, that, you know, I get, you know, if I can get this out. They talk about in quantum physics that just by observing an object, it changes, right? So that I feel like we're seeing this eyeball here. Yeah, this is saying that, and you're, you're, you've got the fire here. And we've got this abracadabra here, the world here, that you can really change things if, you know, but the, this is, I really feel like this, is pivotal right here, right? This is the key right here in the mind. It's to change the way that you're seeing things. It's very important, right? This is like gaining control of this new you, this new idea of who you are now, right? You are a Leo, you are a fixed sign. This hasn't been easy for you. I feel like this king of fire here is perfect in showing you that, you know, that you can still maintain your kingdom, right? <laughs> you are king of the jungle after all. You can still maintain who you are. And I think you're you're kind of getting the hang of it here. You know, I'm going to go here and then we'll go to the abracadabra. Or maybe I just want to do all these together. Because I feel like, you know, these kind of mimic each other, right? We have abracadabra under the night ride. And we have these lights flickering up through the whole thing. We see this spiral here, right? The Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, the center of all creation. And I feel like, you know, this night ride here, it's spirit saying it's protecting you through the darkness, right? There's still a lot of unknown. There's still, you know, with this death card being in your earth, you know, it's like, everything's changing, right? Nothing is it, you know, you might feel completely like pfft, out of your element. I mean, look at this world card here. You know, it's like 
yes, there's a lot to, there's a big, huge cycle coming to an end, but you're like floating in the space of just like, where are you? Who are you? What is all this stuff, right? There's so much going on. There's so much, you know, just askew. Yeah, I see this, I'm drawn to this caged bird here in the corner. It's like, you still, you, you, you know, you almost feel safe. You want to go crawl into this cage again <laughs> just to feel safe. But spirit is, you know, and you're, you're still gaining, you know, spirit's like, just, you know, take your time with this, right? Four of gardens, get your bearings, you know, magic is happening, spirit is working behind the scenes, spirit is connecting the dots for you, spirit is protecting you, just ride the wave, right? Just have some faith. This is total integration, and I do feel you like, you know, and this it could be talking about going into, you know, different worlds. And I feel like you're you're kind of opening yourself up to that with this abracadabra card and the four of gardens here. <clears throat> So yeah, I feel like there's this, you know, maybe with this listen card, listening to music, right? Um, listening to guided meditations, possibly, right? Whatever, um, you know, pay attention to things. You know, pay attention to conversations that are going on. You know, I'm noticing how this is moving up into this, right? There's this brown, these brown tones in this. And I feel like it's, you know, there's this sense of where you feel like maybe you're lacking in some area to you know because he was deaf right and he wrote the most beautiful music it's amazing music so i feel like there's this you know where you feel like you're lacking or something you know that that you know to that somehow that's going to be made an attribute Hmm. And then, yes, this gesture of winds in the future, you know, this is very creative energy. That's this orange is really standing out to me. And the fact that, you know, we had this bat up here in the corner of this card and he's holding it, right? And this is like something that makes sound. Maybe some of you guys are uh, musically inclined and you're feeling a bit blocked right now, you know, and that you're gonna have a breakthrough in the future. If not, this is just finding your voice. This is definitely, um, kind of coming out of the shadows, right? I'm noticing this uh, shadow across his face, coming out of the shadows and um, kind of embracing, being curious. Yeah, I'm noticing all the swirls on him too. Okay. Let's get a piece of art for you. This is for Leo, please. I'm drawn up here to the right. Oh my gosh, you all got this before. A friendly visit. Um, what 
What did this mean to you last time? This is, uh, I'm looking here, also a highly influential teacher. And then we have the young schoolmistress here again. Maybe you need to, did you have, you know, this might be bringing it back up to you again, that there's somebody that you need to um, visit. Or maybe this is like, if this makes you think of a certain, you know, maybe this is the wound that needs to be caressed <laughs> and opened back up again for, for healing. Um, Or perhaps it's somebody that you can speak to, right? Like I said, I feel like, um, or they have something to tell you, right? If somebody comes and visits you, make sure you listen very closely to what they say. Yeah? Because this has something to teach you. Hmm. It's interesting that that came up again. All right. Where are we getting closing guidance? I'm going to go to the Wisdom of the Oracle. Two cards for Leo, please. Two cards for Leo. Closing messages, closing guidance for Leo, please. September 14th through the 28th. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, and they came out in reverse. So I feel like they, they are have a special message for you. These have special messages for the reversed positions. We have peace at the bottom. Yeah, because there is this resistance with y'all. I feel like, you know, this is probably going to speak to that. All right, I'm going to turn it upright. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> okay. Ever think sometimes your life options are su suction cupped to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present. So you're a little stuck? It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has a better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed now before you move forward. Take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. Wow. There, there, what did I say about, you know, that there, you know, you can still change your um, reality. You're manifesting. You, you've got to pay attention to your, your thoughts and, um, you know, that little friendly visit. There's somebody that you know. I feel like you all probably know exactly who it is that you should be talking to. And then we have a Yang. And, you know, this is probably talking about Mars being in retrograde. Or, you know, I'm going to read from this book, but, um, yeah, Mars is in retrograde now. We're going to be really wanting to move forward, right? It's going to feel very debilitating, right? But this is all for this integration. This is all devised for us. All right. Be mindful of the tendency toward impulsive action, overconfidence, and aggressive behavior. 
Think before you act, lest you find yourself in a situation that will lead to uncom uncomfortable consequences. Be sure you really want what you're chasing after, because you might be sorry when you get it. The appearance of this card isn't cause for fear, for life is all about learning lessons. Practor practice temperance, diplomacy, and thoughtful consideration before making a move. Like I said, I, you know, if that resonates, then cool. I mean, like, there's obviously nothing wrong with that message, but I feel like it's more about, you know, this desire to move forward and we're feeling stuck. You know, it's like really think and you know, I'm drawn to the fact that sitting under this card with this um swirly uh orange energy right <clears throat> and this even looks like a lion to me right <laughs> just take this time to kind of you know think about what you want think about you know, what you would like your life to look like, right? We're in this kind of in-between worlds thing here, and we're learning how to master our new talents and be our new selves and, you know, take this time to really, you know, feel into that, you know, that space, you know, and I'm just thinking about that feeling of... Uh, anxiety that I had. Well, look, we've got the fortune card here at the bottom with love. This is the lovers underneath it. So, you know, balance is coming in. Stability is coming in. Love is coming in, right? We have this, this change that's happening. Take time to play, to be present, right? This is all of this, inf this, these underlying energies are all about being at peace, knowing that good things are coming for you. You know, devour life whole, organize an orgy with the sky and the sea. Optimism is energy. And, you know, she's got these heart-shaped lips and her throat chakra is really, you know, and, ah, the listen, right? She's got these amplifiers. Well, I didn't mean to say, well, maybe amplifiers too. But uh, <laughs> what I really was saying is like, um, ah, why can't I think? Uh, satellites, yeah, satellites. And we've got to the moon and back. And this is about, you know, going into the subconscious and really like, you know, exploring. This is about wanting something and not being able to have it. But if you like really explore your thoughts, your feelings, etc., there might be some little things that we don't even know, right? Like desires we don't even know we have that are really more important, right? Right now we're so caught up in, I feel like the ego still, right? I feel like there's this need to lighten up, to really go within and explore, you know, just take a step back, right? Do the breath work peace, do some meditations, listen to music, play, dance, right? Things are moving and, um, and changing and yeah, it just is going to, it takes this change in perspective. Now I think you're going to get it. All right, guys. I feel like that's where I'm going to leave you. I hope that this was helpful. And until next time, Leo, much love.